morning YouTube so today I am on my way to a uh, service call that it is a walk-in cooler that keeps tripping the breaker and I have gone through this unit with a fine tooth comb oh shaky shaky um, so then we referred them to an electrician to have them check out the uh, the breaker panel possibly just replace the breaker so we didn't want to get into that and the electricians the electrical company sends out an AC tech or probably their version of an AC tech and he says that there's a motor that's grounded the motor has blown a fuse and and that they disconnected the motor. So they replaced the fuse and it's back up and running. So I'm gonna go see if it's true that this electrical company's AC tech really did check that motor that he said was grounded. So I was there about a day before and it wasn't grounded. Walking cooler, so I'll see you there here in a few minutes. Okay, so here we are. And just take this panel off. First thing I notice is why in the world would that electrician, electrical company's AC tech run a, <laughs> a Pandora strap through the motor? <laughs> you cannot make this shit up. What the hell? <laughs> oh man, that's funny. I'm speechless on that one. Oh, anyways, the unit's running. Ugh. All right, so that's the fuse. That middle one was over here. I figured maybe. Maybe those uh, fuse clamps or whatever were getting maybe weak. Maybe creating some heat from not being able to hold it in. And so I moved it to the center. And apparently they, they say they replaced it. But I guess I should have marked my damn fuses. Those units is freaking running. I guess they just want to know why that doesn't work. So... That's, uh, this is the, the snap disc right there. Um, I'm sure if I take it off, it has some sort of uh, numbers on it. But pretty much when it's cold, it doesn't let that unit come on. It's a sort of a uh, head pressure control. So, let me look at these guys. Leaving my damn caps off. Kind of hack ass AC techs they send out. Jesus Christ. Alright, let me take that off and jump it out. See if that motor's running. They didn't even. They didn't even disconnect it the way they said they did. What the fuck? See what kind of hack ass shit these guys did. Panduit strap. I mean, nothing's disconnected. Homemade jumpers are the best. Alright, so here's that snap disc. Hmm. 
What did they do here? This does not go good, my work. I replaced that motor. That motor's probably about four months old. Look at this. <laughs> you couldn't just have disconnected these two spades. He had to cut this. What the hell? Are you serious? Alright, so I still don't know what these electricians did, but I'm just gonna check this motor real quick. Got it on tone. Uh, so, leg to leg. 104 ohms of resistance. Let's go to ground. saying this thing's grounded it's not running but it's not grounded so these are my two power wires we really couldn't just do that Voltage. So, yeah. so we're only getting two and a half volts going to the motor. All right, just see why now. <laughs> we're only getting two volts. So much for my previous statement. Homemade jumpers are the best. <laughs> All right, let me fix it. All right, so I just bypassed that um, that snap disc, and see if we got our 240 now. Oh, my bad. Be nice if we turn the unit on. There we go, 215. So that motor will run now. crimping for the new guys try not to use the crimpers on an all-in-one you know like an all-in-one strippers cutters crimpers try to use a dedicated set of crimping tools I have these Milwaukee's they're not bad I also have a set of Klein dikes that I like so really get nice leverage on it you'll avoid problems from not being able to crimp so so damn well. Alright, so let's plug this baby back in. It's not an electrical company. Job security, but it's not good for the customer. Jesus Christ. So. Woo. 
<laughs> Moment of truth. Find out. There we go. Look at that grounded motor. Look at that. Oh, shaking a bit. It's just a sheet metal. Look at that. That's a grounded motor right there if I've ever seen one. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Said the electrician. Idiots. Alright, just ladies, bears, dogs, hippos, cats. This. <clears throat> This unit is done. I, I really just came to see if that motor was grounded. That's it. I verified it's not. Running the right way. Uh, everything seems to be good on it. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait for the manager to come in. This shouldn't take too long. And uh, talk to him about that breaker. If that breaker's tripped here in the last few days, I'm going to replace it. If they haven't, if that breaker hasn't tripped, then we're going to call it good. 